What a WWE SmackDown Live that was last night, guys. And today, this is going to be my WWE SmackDown Live review from last night's show. So here we go. We kicked off SmackDown Live with, here comes the money. Shay McMahon, that is right. He comes out and he talks about from... Last week, in that Dale Bryan did not fire Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn, so then he called out the SmackDown Live GM, Dale Bryan, to come out. And then, of course, Dale Bryan was telling Shane McMahon, yes, yes, he was telling him that sometimes he loses temper and sometimes there is no Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens wanted to be on the SmackDown Live team and stuff like that. He was trying to say to him and stuff. And then, of course, right after that, you, you know what Shane Man says then? We're going to make it be a no disqualification match for Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, where Sami Zayn is banned from ringside, and he's not allowed to be there at all. So that was it, part of the beginning, guys. Now we have match number one of the night. It is the New Day. New Day Rock. New Day Rock. Versus Salt the Benjamin and Chad Gable. And of course, the New Day were passing out pancakes to the Uzos and the ring announcer and stuff like that. Passing out to the announcers and stuff. And it was pretty funny. I was getting right into it, guys, and stuff. And the next, right after that, they have their match. And the New Day won with the mid arrow on Salt the Benjamin for the one, two, three. And that was it for Salt and Benjamin. Now we have match number two of the night. The Blungeon Brothers versus the Hype Brothers. We stay hype. That is right. So, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan won. Both did their finishers on Zack Ryder for the one, two, three by lifting him up. And then right after the match, Zack Ryder got on the microphone and talked. About the hype bros and stuff like that. That they want to go after the tag team belts and stuff like that. That things changed and stuff like that. And about the landscape. He was also saying and stuff. And of course right after that you know what happens? Mojo Rawley. He hits Zach front, Zach Ryan from behind. And he starts to beat him up down. Beat him up, beat him up and stuff like that. And that was pretty shocking. I was shocked. You should have seen the guy. I was really shocked about it. I was really, really shocked. That Mo Girardi turned on Zack Ryder. He kept beating him up. The referees told Mo Girardi to get off of him. Get off of him a lot. And that was it. Now we have match number three of the night. AJ Styles, a phenomenal one, versus the Sin Brothers in a two-on-one handicap match. But before it happened, AJ Styles was getting beat down. And stuff. So then it went to a commercial. Then when it came back on, AJ Styles was like trying to get up. So then the referee ring the bell, didn't ding, and also during the match, Jinder Mahal was going on the top rope and apron. And then AJ Styles just kicked him. And then AJ Styles does the Styles clash and stuff like that. Finisher on one of the Sim brothers. And then AJ Styles pinned them for the one, two. Three, and that was it. And then, of course, right after the match, Ginger Mahal tried to go back in the ring to go after AJ Styles, and AJ Styles just runs away real quick, and then the referee hands him the WWE Championship belt. Then right after the match, Ginger Mahal turns on the Sim Brothers by doing his finisher on both of them. And that was pretty much it, guys, for that part. Now we have match number four of the night, and it is... The Riot Squad versus Char Flair. Woo! And Natalia and Naomi feel the glow. That is right. So, Natalia left during the match. Of course, she did. She said, I don't want to be here and stuff like that. So, she just left Charlotte and Naomi all alone. So, now it's a two on three handicap match and stuff. So, then right after that, Naomi got taken down real badly, guys. She was like getting hurt with the steel steps. Liv Morgan and Sarah sent up the steel steps. So then they like flipped her up like twice underneath the steel steps. And then the stretcher had to come out and stuff for her and stuff. And then next, Ruby Riot does her finisher on Charlotte Flair for the one, two, three. And that was it. 
And Naomi was going on to the stretch, and Charlotte Flair was just in the ring, and that was it. And now we have our main event of the night, and it is Kevin Owens versus the Viper, Randy Orton. That is right. In a no disqualifications match. And this match was pretty good. It was using kendo sticks after kendo sticks and uh, announcer's table and stuff like that. It was getting pretty good until Sami Zayn, of course, he comes out and uses a steel chair on Randy Orton a couple times on his back. And then Kevin Owens go back inside the ring. And the next he does like the frog splash and stuff like that for the one, two, three. And that was it. And then that was it for the no disqualification match. Randy Orton was in the ring. And Kevin Owens was like going like this to end WWE SmackDown Live. And what a WWE SmackDown Live was last night, guys. Mojo is a heel now. Everything is pretty much going good on SmackDown Live. So, guys, once again, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Peace out, guys. See ya.